And you're not done with Donald Trump? No. He hasn't seen the last of you? No. Only from now on I'll have my pants on. Stormy Daniels refuses to go away, and that's because she says she is not a liar. Well, friend, you've got a pretty woman and you think she's really something, but she's using you to play her game. Even if you treat her tender in a month, she won't remember what you look like or even your name. So don't even try to trust her, cause she'll leave you broken, flustered with nobody but yourself to blame. She'll lie to you and leave you with nothing but depression, heartache, and sorrow and shame. When Donald Trump became president of the United States, he became the most powerful man in the world. That notion, though, has been constantly tested ever since he took office. You're talking about this situation with, and I don't know what goes into paying hush money to a porn star to, to secure silence over some type of alleged affair. I just, I can't speak to that. Whatever it is you choose to do with your life, fuck everyone else as long as you can look yourself in the mirror every morning. That's all that really matters. To keep thee from the evil woman, from the flattery of the tongue of a strange woman, bless not after her beauty and thine heart, neither let her take thee with her eyelids. For by means of a whorish woman, a man is brought to a piece of bread, and the adulteress will hunt for the precious life. Let not thine heart decline to her ways, go not astray in her path, for she hath cast down many wounded, many strong men have been slain by her. Her house is the way to hell, going down to the chambers of death. Right now, there is no evidence of an arrest coming, but sources say another star witness could appear at the request of Trump's legal team to refute earlier testimony. Sources tell CBS News that attorney Robert Costello, the former legal advisor to uh, ex-Trump lawyer Michael Cohen, could be called before a grand jury to discredit Cohen's testimony today. The Manhattan District Attorney is investigating alleged hush money payments made to adult film star Stormy Daniels on uh, former President Trump's behalf. But when the president accused her of lying, she hit back in the most extraordinary way. You, you do cite uh, a significant day, and I think it was uh, July 9th, 1999. Mm -hmm. It was the day you got enough money. Mm -hmm. <laughs> to get thunder and lightning. <laughs> thunder and lightning are? Uh, my breasts. Um, yes. And you don't regret that? Absolutely not. Best, even, best even, decision ever. Even though they're not quite what you were expecting. No, they're bigger than I originally ordered, but uh, they've served me very well. And I am not a gold digger. And I did not do this because I'm starved for attention. I just wanted to stand up for myself and set the record straight and prove I wasn't lying. I think I've pretty effectively done that. You know, I'm, the message is very clear, don't mess with me. No, I'm not a victim. I'm a victim of myself. I never said, no, don't touch me, or I'm leaving, or I don't want to do this. That absolutely did not happen. Yeah, no, he didn't, and he didn't try to pay me, which is a, one of the things that's very frustrating, that people assume that, that I was paid for that night, and I absolutely wasn't. And I didn't even turn down money. He didn't even offer. And if he had? Uh, I would have definitely said no and been way more upset. Either I was in the right place at the right time, or I was the the wrong place at the wrong time. And my opinion of that changes about every 20 minutes. You didn't expect he would proposition you? He didn't proposition me. I remember thinking that moment, okay, well, here's the, uh, the great story I came for. I just spanked Donald Trump with a magazine and now I'm gonna leave. <laughs> but then, you know, he became nice. And um, I think that we shared a 
mutual curiosity, genuine curiosity about the business aspects of each other's um, lives. Two weeks later, Stormy Daniels was offered hush money of $130,000 from Trump's personal lawyer, Michael Cohen. Which was the best day of my life. They could have given me $10 and it would have just been the icing on the cake. Like I was just excited that like, fuck yes, like no one's gonna know. This is perfect. Finally, this is gone. Finally. Remember the moment when you thought, fuck this guy? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. It is not prostitution. No, absolutely not. Uh, I'm not saying that it doesn't happen. I'm, you know, but I personally have never been involved in it. And Yeti hair. <laughs> that was just me being mean. <laughs> so you feel you had to go to this I feel like I was level. forced there, yeah. And, and, you know, I justify it in a way to myself. And even now saying, like, this is a man who said much worse things about women multiple times. So... Here's a taste of your own medicine, asshole. So what turned you? Can you remember the moment when you thought, no. Fuck this guy? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Very clearly. What was that day? Um, the day that I went on Jimmy Kimmel, January 30th. Please welcome Stormy Daniels. You know, of course, the President of the United States denies all this. He can deny it all he wants. If I was going to lie about having sex with someone famous, Brad Pitt, here we go. You know, I, mean, I would pick somebody way less embarrassing than Donald Trump. Are you kidding? Now no, no man is ever going to want to date me. I'd have at least picked, like, you know, somebody cool. Did you want to humiliate him? No. Absolutely not. Which is why I feel a little conflicted about the book. No, you wanted like, to hurt him? No, I did not want to hurt him. My intention was for people to stop hurting me. <laughs> I have nothing to hide, and um, I don't have a family that I'm concerned about embarrassing. Like, I don't care. Everything's on the table. Everything's on the table. I don't think that porn or nudity or sex is bad, so I have no guilt there. And I'm not really religious, so I'm not afraid that I'm going to go to hell because I admitted to fornicate. But I'm not done yet. And you're not done with Donald Trump? No. He hasn't seen the last of you? No. Only from now on, I'll have my pants on. <laughs> uh, I have no interest in getting involved in some type of manufactured circus by some Soros DA. The entire universe has seen my butthole. <laughs> like, I'm pretty hard to embarrass. Did you hear that thud? That was probably my publicist fainting. <laughs> um, I haven't. <laughs> it's one bag Google click away. <laughs> no, you can't turn a whore into a Unless she wants to do it herself She's gotta be willing to do it on her own Without nobody's help You can try and try But you just can't make somebody be somebody else No, you can't turn a whore into a lady Unless she wants to do it herself the look I have. Blonde hair, blue eyes, big boobs. You know, that was my demographic where, you know, middle-aged, upper-class, white men. I need you to be my apostles. I need you to go out and talk about it and say, we owe this to each other. We love each other. What you talking over here? Hey! What you talking? Thanks a lot for searching that out. I appreciate that. Fisherman in the box. Fisherman in a box.